good DJs? I know it's been a minute, but I'm here with another video for you guys. This time I'm giving you tips on how to DJ a prom or a graded graduation properly. All right, stay tuned. Now I know prom season is just around the corner for us Canadian DJs, but for you guys in the States, it's already started. This applies to all greeted graduations and proms all around the world. So here we go, let's get into it. Now these first couple of tips are no brainer tips and stuff that you should already be doing at your school events. All right, tip number one, this goes without saying, but always play clean and edited music at your school events. Now all the parents and teachers will always request that you play clean edited music for the kids. Um, it doesn't matter if the kids are actually going to yell out the obscenities over the clean music. Just as long as you're playing clean music, it's all good. You're showing your professionalism as a DJ, as a DJ representing the school. It looks good on you, so make sure to always, always play clean and uh, edit music at your school events. Tip number two, always ask for a playlist in advance. Now, usually the kids themselves will make the playlist and it will give you an indication of what they like. So to make sure that they will dance and get riled up and you'll have a great party, right? So playlist, important. Okay, so tip number three, you need to research current and new music. Kids nowadays are really, really dialed into the new stuff. For example, TikTok. Everything new and, and hot right now is coming out of TikTok. So that's one avenue you can check. There's Spotify playlists. There's YouTube playlists. You can check the top 100 billboard. You should be listening to the radio to see what's hot. So the kids will want to hear a lot of the new stuff and it's always, always good to keep up on new music. All right, tip number four, for those DJs who play whole songs at their events. School events are not for you. Obviously, because kids nowadays have really, really short attention spans. Think of TikTok, right? Short videos, it keeps their attention. They're used to that. They need quick mixing. You need to be doing quick mixing for school events. No doubt about it. Usually they're jumping up and down during the chorus because they know the chorus. It's recognizable to them. And then when it gets to the verse, it's like, quiet so you need to just hit them what boom boom bang 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 with banger after banger after banger quick mixing is key for kids okay you want to mix it up pretty well i'd say three to five songs max in one genre and then, then switch into another one you want to keep it fresh and exciting so the energy stays up because their attention spans are really really short they need that quick fix right they always want to be jumping up and down and excited now i'm not saying to quick mix every single song right some songs you can play longer than others use your judgment right some songs are just bangers and the, the kids will just want to hear more of it so use your judgment um, usually it's one verse and then mixing out to the next song on the chorus all right and then into the next song tip number five i think okay i know a lot of djs don't like to play these but play line dances and i don't mean play them back to back to back spread them out you know, kids uh, don't hear line dances a lot, but they know them. So when you do play them, they're going to do the dance to it. And they usually get excited to do it too, right? So it's something to get their attention too. So just to break it up, throw it in there. Tip number six, you need to be taking requests. And now obviously you ask for a playlist beforehand, but the fact of the matter is, you are still going to get requests on the day of. The problem is when one kid comes up to request a song, they all come at the same time. And this is a problem. It ruins your flow, especially when you're in the middle of mixing. So there are a couple of ways around this. 
Now, one way is to have an actual person blocking the kids from coming to you and ruining your flow and your mix, right? So they're going to be writing it down and talking to the kids, making sure that you are just in the zone, right? And you're just mixing, making them dance. And then when you're not busy, you can come up to them and ask them, okay, what's the next, what's the next song? What did they request, right? When you have time. Another way, and what I used to do back in the day, and sometimes I still do, I have a, a pad or with a pen, and um, I write the school name at the top, and then I point to it if a kid comes up to me and say, write down your request. That means I have still time to mix and stuff, right? So other kids will see that and then I'll just point to that and then write it down. And whenever you have time, I will go and look at the request list and see what I can do. Another way of doing it, thanks to COVID, now there are request apps that you can uh, download on your phone that uh, it'll generate a number for you and then uh, the kids will actually request songs on it they'll text you and then it'll pop up on your phone or your laptop however you set it up and they don't even have to come up to you and request right so very very useful um i'll list down a couple of apps here for download for your mobile ios or your android okay tip number seven you need to be subscribed to at least one or two dj pools right like bpm supreme dj city Crate Connect, Zip DJ, yeah, yeah. just to name a few. There's a lot of them out there. And um, just to get like instrumental versions, a cappella versions, clean versions, which you need for schools. And of course, you get the best quality music as well. This is a great tool for DJs. And it also keeps you up to date because there's new stuff always coming out on these DJ pools as well. So be subscribed to some DJ pools important okay this is more of a suggestion than of a tip try playing some older music uh, use this up to your discretion but there's some bangers out there like dancing queen by abba now this was released long before these kids were even born but they're going off on this uh they go crazy when i drop dancing queen play some popular popular old music though like earth wind and fire some michael jackson Bohemian Rhapsody went off when I played it. They knew all the words, so you never know, right? You never know. You may be playing for a musical background kind of school, and they appreciate all types of music, especially the old stuff. You can always mix out of it if it doesn't work out, right? Okay, last and final tip. I think this is nine or eight or something, mm -hmm. but this tip, I guarantee if you do this properly, the school will rebook you again. This is what I do personally. Now they've been dancing all night, right? You've been killing it. So up until this point, the kids have been having a great time. They've been dancing, going crazy, but now it's the end of the night. Final song. Now before you play the final song, you break it down. You have to give them their moment. Now, this is all about the roller coaster ride. And the point of, of this is to give them the moment to say the goodbyes to their fellow classmates. Literally get on the microphone and tell them, okay, I want to give you guys this moment to say your final and last goodbyes to your fellow classmates. All the four years that you've gone through, all the memories that you guys have made have come up to this day, this last and final day of celebration. Let's be honest, this is probably the last time you guys are gonna see most of your classmates. So say your final goodbyes and um, congratulate each other. Wish each other good luck in wherever school they're gonna go next. And uh, you guys did it. Congratulations, guys. The point of this is to give them that moment. The ultimate is to make them cry. If you make the girls cry, it's great. It happens all the time. Now, if you make the guys cry, even better, <laughs> right? And this is when I drop the next song. I usually play Charlie Puth and Wiz Khalifa's See You Again. 
that piano intro, it just gets them. Or uh, there's also We Are Young by Fun. That's a great song to play as well. But give them that moment. If you do this properly, I swear to you, you'll get rebooked again. The teachers will go, wow, this DJ really knows what he's doing. Right? And you give that moment to them, the kids will remember this forever. That prom DJ was amazing. They'll never forget it. So if you guys do this, I swear, you guys get rebooked again. Guaranteed. Yeah! So if you guys liked all those tips, uh, please like this video. And if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe down below. A lot more videos coming at you. And if I forgot something, if you have some tips, let me know in the comments down below and we'll talk about it, right? Maybe I forgot something. Who knows? Maybe you guys do something different. All right, we'll see you in the next one, guys. This is DJ9 signing off. Hoo-yah!